Yes, it is summer, but you can still have color in your summer garden. I'm at Sugawa Nursery with Brian, and Brian, you picked out a really nice selection of plants that are blooming here. Some even have little berries. So let's just talk about them because you've got a ton of them here. Yeah, well, summertime, trying to find things that offer interest, you know, right. either some textures, foliage, uh, just anything for contrast or flowers always help. Right. So, yeah, right in front of us, uh, the newer varieties of the butterfly bushes, they're dwarfer, probably know about them. Um, this one is going to be the purple haze, so uh, four, to, four to six foot tall. Uh, they do stay a little smaller, but, you know, the butterflies they love it. Them. Uh, yeah, they do. Right, and this is the one that's legal in Oregon and that's Washington, correct, yes. so they're really great to have, and you don't have to worry about them seeding out everywhere. That's right. And a variegated Rose of Sharon, so beautiful. Yeah, um, the variegation, because you know you have to look at these quite a bit. So when it offers a little variegation in the foliage, kind of uh, makes it that much more interesting. So pretty, this pretty. will have the single flower, kind of has the, well, it's actually it's like a semi-double flower. Uh, there's one open there that, so it's just kind of a Very nice pretty. little what, magenta or something. I'm just purplish. gonna cheat here yeah. with the name. And the name is Summer Ruffles, so very apropos. Right. Very pretty. Yeah. And then two Summer Sweet. These are very nice. Yeah, they are. Um, I like this, you know, the shiny foliage on it. Usually going to tell you that it could take that sun a little better. Okay. That's the way we always feel here. Um, all these, you know, you get them some good deep waterings. They're probably going to do a little better. Uh, you know, for the summertime. Oh, definitely. As, yeah. So really, if you're going to be planting in the summer, make sure you're watering, go out there and water. And this one is Ruby Spice, and then the white one is called Crystalline. Very yes. pretty. And then an old favorite, Viburnum, and you know, sometimes we don't pay attention to berries. That was, uh, I just noticed in that earlier, um, you know, I'm sure the birds are going to love it, and so it's kind of your uh, naturalizing wildlife. Yeah, definitely. Uh, plus the red, you know, red berries on that too, so. And this is the compact version, so because I really love it, but it was always too big for my garden. This right. one only gets about six feet. Yeah, they get pretty fast uh, to six feet. They so. sure do. Yeah. And then what is this dark one? That's beautiful. Well, these are the newer varieties of the crepe myrtles. Wow. Uh, the, is this the little Philly? Okay, Sunset Magic. I'm sorry. It's, uh, there's so, so many, too, too many new ones. There is. <laughs> uh, there's a couple varieties or named varieties, but uh, this is the Magic series. Both of them have that nice, uh, deep purple foliage, though, which attracts everybody. It seems to be quite popular. It's pretty, and against green, it's really nice to have something a little different right. in the summer landscape. I think it is a, a dwarf one, too. It's going to get about four to six foot tall, so it's not going to be the taller uh, grape myrtles. Right, and you have some taller ones, too, here. We have the regular Anybody's tree looking forms for and everything like that, too. Beautiful. And then agapanthus, these really are lovely in the summer garden. I think so. You know, the, the thick foliage, you know, once again, it's going to be pretty good for the, you know, the reflected heat, uh, full sun. It's just a tough plant. So it's a great summer uh, interest plant for the flowers or the, and I like the foliage too, spike yeah. foliage. Yeah, because it looks like a grass, but it has these really beautiful blue yeah. balls, ball-shaped Very flowers. much grass-like. Brian, this has such bright colors. This orange and yellow are beautiful. That is, that's uh, helenium. And uh, so it's gonna give you that, you know, Great height for, and for perennials that uh, is always sought after. That is really nice. And then a no, the purple one, that's beautiful. That is. I think, again, you know, summer interest just can't beat the perennials when it comes to uh, July. Yeah. You know, July and August, kind of a hard time for a lot of plants to find. But these blooms. really shine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those, are, those are great for and this. So this uh, is Russian sage? Russian sage. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. And then we have one more left. We yeah, have this that, aster down that's here. That's an aster, yes. Beautiful. I think the color combination, you know, kind of chocolatey, mm -hmm. to me it looks that way anyway. Um, just a great foliage plant alone, you know. Yeah. Um, I think it has a lot softer right there. Just the stems kind of have that same kind of color. And Pretty. It's very nice. And just I like the a, pink flowers just right. a little bit later in the yeah. summer. Very nice. Well, you know, like Brian said, you can have all this beautiful color in your garden. You just have to water. And we're watering our other plants this time of year anyway. So come on out to Sugawa Nursery. Pick out some plants and add just a little bit of color to your garden. Thanks so much, Brian. Thanks, Judy.